Joy Home Remedies brings you How to get rid of a bloated stomach? Home Remedies for Gas and Bloating Most of us experience the discomfort of gas or stomach bloating on occasion, right? But there's no need to let it get the better of you. While there are many different causes of gas and bloating, it often occurs when the body struggles to break down food after meals. And it's no fun when you're in a crowded place letting smelly ones rip. Trust me. Fortunately, we know more than ever before about maintaining a healthy digestive system, and there are many different home remedies for gas and bloating. Number 1, look at your eating habits. Try to avoid eating habits that cause you to swallow excess air, such as using straws and talking while eating. Always ensure that you eat slowly and chew your food thoroughly to make it easier for your body to digest. Also, avoid eating fruits straight after a meal as these are gas forming and will likely increase bloating. Number 2, watch your diet. Overeating is one of the most common causes of gas and bloating. Also, limit your consumption of fatty, spicy, or salty foods as much as possible. Carbohydrates can cause the body to retain water, so these should be avoided in the evening to avoid a bloated belly in the morning. Artificial sweeteners can also be hard for the body to digest and some people find they increase bloating, while the bubbles in carbonated drinks can also be problematic. Number 3, eat potassium rich foods. Bloating isn't always caused by excess gas. In certain cases, it may be triggered by high sodium intake, which increases fluid retention around the belly. Potassium helps to counter the effects of sodium, so eat potassium rich foods on a daily basis to help balance fluid levels in the body. Good sources of potassium include bananas, mangoes, and spinach. Number 4, be aware of common culprits. Certain healthy foods may also increase the risk of bloating. While these shouldn't be avoided completely, it may be worth eating them in moderation to reduce bloating. Common culprits include beans, lentils, corn, onions, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, peaches and prunes. Eating lots of fiber without drinking an adequate amount of water can also result in bloating and constipation. Number 5, cut out dairy. Dairy can be very bothersome to the belly because many adults naturally produce less of the necessary digestive enzyme lactase as we get older. If you consume dairy products regularly, try cutting them out for a few days and see how your body reacts. Number 6, add ginger. Ginger is one of the best foods to reduce bloating fast. It encourages the emptying of the stomach and speeds up digestion. The powerful compounds found in ginger also help to soothe and relax the intestinal muscles and reduce spasms. Add a slice of fresh ginger root to a cup of hot water for 10 minutes and drink this before and after meals. Alternatively, simply add ginger to meals or take a daily ginger supplement. Number 7, take probiotics for IBS. Many people with irritable bowel syndrome suffer from bloating. which can be aggravated by stress or certain foods. An imbalance of good and bad bacteria in the digestive tract is another common cause of IBS and bloating, along with constipation, diarrhea, and flatulence. Probiotics are among the most recommended home remedies for gas. They are good bacteria that produce enzymes to support the digestion of problem foods. So try to incorporate probiotics into your diet to reduce bloating. Number 8, skip the protein bar. You probably don't think of beans when you unwrap a protein bar, but a lot of them include protein isolate derived from soybeans, something many people find just as gas inducing as any other legume. Like other beans, soy contains sugar molecules that the body can't break down entirely. With nowhere to go, these sugar molecules just ferment, causing gas and bloating in your stomach. Number 9, consume peppermint. Peppermint leaves contain menthol oil, which acts as an antispasmodic to relax the digestive tract and support the passage of food and air through the stomach. Drink a cup of hot peppermint tea after each meal to get things moving. Add a little bit of honey for a touch of sweetness. Ultimately, you can take a daily peppermint supplement for sustained relief. Number 10, have some dark chocolate. 
who knew that this delicious treat can actually be good for the stomach and gas problems. But, the catch however is, that the chocolate has to have a cocoa content of 70% or more. Chocolate-loving microbes in the gut convert the candy into anti-inflammatory compounds. When the cocoa reaches your belly's digestive juices and enzymes, it's feasted on by your belly's good gut bugs, which ferment it into anti-inflammatory compounds. As a result, you lose that annoying as shit belly bloat. That's right. Number 11. Limit your alcohol. I'm not one to say no to a good glass of wine with dinner, especially if my date is hot. But, if you're looking to the puff, consider cutting it out. Alcohol can directly damage the digestive tract and research has also found it to mess with the good bacteria in your stomach. If you really can't avoid it, always try to match one glass or serving of alcohol with one glass of water. Number 12. Drink plenty of water. I shouldn't even have to mention this, but many people still don't know that when the body is dehydrated, it starts to retain water, which can cause the stomach to swell. Make sure you drink at least 2 liters of water each day to flush out toxins that may cause bloating, gas and constipation. Herbal teas can also be beneficial, but you should avoid fizzy drinks that will likely exacerbate the problem. Number 13. Eat dinner early. Fasting is the slim down secret of models and celebrities. But, for those of us who'd like to actually enjoy our lives, it's not exactly an appealing prospect. But here's a secret. You actually fast every night, while you're asleep. And the longer you can stretch out that period of fasting, the fewer calories you'll take in, and the more time your body will have to heal itself. Cut off food intake by 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. at night, and delay breakfast a little more into the day. Make sure you have at least 12 hours between your last meal tonight and your first meal tomorrow. You'll give your digestive system time to recover, and deflate your belly quickly. Number 14. Exercise daily. Inactivity is a common cause of bloating, so try to keep active every single day. A simple 20-minute walk after lunch can get food moving through the digestive tract and prevent the buildup of gas. Working up a sweat also helps to release fluids. If you are new to exercise or have recently amped up your regime, you may find that workouts prompt bloating. However, the post-workout bloat should disappear in a couple of weeks as the body adjusts to the new routine. Number 15. De-stress. Stress and anxiety upset the balance of hormones and neurotransmitters that play important roles in normal digestion. As a result, food isn't digested properly, leading to the creation of gas and bloating. Anxiety also increases the speed of breathing, which causes you to swallow more air than normal. Certain stress-related habits may increase the likelihood of bloating, such as chewing gum, and the tendency to reach for caffeinated or carbonated drinks. Take steps to reduce stress and relax on a daily basis. Gas and bloating can affect your daily activities, but with these home remedies you can keep your stomach happy. However, if the condition is chronic, it may require medication and a change in diet and lifestyle to resolve it. Consult with your doctor if this is the case. Thank you for watching. If you think what you've learned in this video is useful, please slam that like button, and share it with your friends. For more videos like this, please subscribe.